Hi, I'm Amy Gann with the American Association of Snowboard Instructors. We're here with REI, and this is How to Put on Your Snowboard. The first part of getting our snowboard on is making sure our boots are on correctly. First thing you can do to set your day off right is making sure that your boots are not frozen when you get there, so don't leave them in your trunk on the way to the mountain. Uh, keep them someplace warm so when you get going, your foot's going to stay warm and dry. The second thing is making sure that the only thing going in your boot is your sock. So make sure you're pulling up all your first layers, your snow pants, nice and high so that we don't have anything that's going to pinch or be uncomfortable inside our boot. Most boots have an outside shell and an inside liner. So when you go to put your snowboard boot on, make sure it's nice and opened up so it's easy to put on. Slide your foot in. Give it a couple taps just to make sure that your heel is sliding back so that when you do tighten everything down, it's uh, in the right spot. I'm gonna get my inside tongue right against my shin and I've got some Velcro here, so I Velcro it down just to stay in place. And then I've got that inside lacing system so that my foot doesn't slide around. So I pull this up nice and tight and then I slide this down all the way down against the fabric so that it can't move and then I just tuck all this string in. Then we've got the outer shell. My boot is a boa boot, so what I do is I click this down and then I can spin it and it starts to tighten. So I'm gonna tighten that down and then I've got one on the side. This one does the bottom part. Again, I just want it to be nice and snug so that my foot's not sliding around inside the boot. And that's just gonna make it so that when I do eventually get out on snow, uh, my foot is gonna actually do what I want it to do on the snowboard and make those changes on the snowboard. So once I've got the boot on, I'm just gonna make sure all my first layers are folded nicely, not crumpled anywhere. And then I'm gonna put this outside, this gaiter outside the boot. That's gonna keep all the snow out so I don't get soaking wet inside the boot. And then finally, pull down your snow pant. My boot again is that boa boot, but there's lots of different ways that snowboard boots might lace. There are traditional lacing systems, just like a shoelace. Um, and for those you wanna tie them kind of like a hiking boot, they've usually got some eyelets that you can lace up. Make sure that when you do that, each row is being tightened down so that when you do finally get to make a bow tie, it's not all just gonna fall apart. Another system you might have for tying your boots is a, a quick lace or something that cinches everything down. And for those, you usually just have to pull straight up and they lock in some way. Just make sure that that extra string, once you tighten it, uh, is folded somewhere in the boot so that it's not hanging down. It's not gonna get caught anywhere. All right, so now that we're outside, we've got our snowboard boots on, let's go ahead and put our snowboard on. So we've got our snowboard, we've also got our bindings. Our bindings have a couple pieces. We've got our high back, our toe caps, and our ankle straps. When we put our foot in, it's really important to get our heel all the way back in the binding. And I usually give a tap with my foot just to get a little extra snow off. And then slide your foot in, make sure that foot is all the way back against the high back. So now I can go ahead and put my ankle strap on. I'm gonna do the ankle one first because it's gonna pull everything back. And again, just make sure everything's nice and tight when I am ready to go snowboarding. So how the ratchet works is I've got this gap right here and my ladder strap. I'm just gonna slide the ladder right in there and then push that all the way down as far as I can. Then I'm gonna start ratcheting to tighten it up. So crank it, make sure you let it go. It's gonna reset so that you can keep doing that. You wanna make sure that that's real nice and snug as far as I can get it without being crazy tight so you're not cutting off any circulation or anything like that. After you've got that in, you can go ahead and put your toe strap on. Most toe straps now go somewhere over the top of your toe, middle part of your toe, not right over your foot and not way down here. So when I tighten everything up, my straps are pretty even between both feet. Uh, if I'm cranking everything down and I've still got wiggle room and I can't crank any further, then I may need to have these adjusted. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and strap in my other foot. When I do that, just make sure that that board is in a really flat spot so you don't slide away anywhere. Give a little dig in. Again, I like to tap my foot, make sure there's no extra snow on my boot. Make sure my snow pants not in the way. Ankle strap first. And then my toe cap. 
if strapping in, standing up is difficult, it's totally okay to sit down, strap in there, and then stand up and get going. Now that we're strapped in, let me show you how to get out of your bindings as well. Pretty simple. Reach down to that ratchet, just right there, pulling up till it clicks, and then I can give it a little shimmy, and it's gonna come right out. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Please check out our other videos for more information.